How's it going, guys? It's Rock Band Luigi. Welcome back to more. Let's play Pokemon Pearl Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, we got here to Orberg City, and we also got our first HM, which was the HM06 Rock Smash, but we can't use until we defeat Roark, who we also saw in the Orberg Mines, and we also battled our rival. <coughs> Sorry. And in this part, we're probably going to be taking on the... I mean, not the... We're going to be taking on Roark, who is the gym leader here. Um, I off-screen train, as you, and as you saw before this video actually started, um, Starly evolved into Staravia. Yeah, level 14 it evolves. Uh, he learned Double Team also at level 13. I'll just sh show you the levels real quick. Jamie is, yeah, Staravia 14. Cassie, I didn't train yet, but it's okay. I think, I think I'll be good. Um, Blubba is 12. Mrs. Puff is 11. Otto's 10, and George is 10. That, hopefully, that'll be good enough for Roark. I hope so. As far as I'm concerned, his highest level is either 13 or 14, so it shouldn't be too bad. And I know, I know the types he has as well. So, with, with Waylord, I mean, it really shouldn't be that difficult. With Waylord and, uh, what's-his-face, Auto, who I realized I spelled his name wrong, is I spelled it Aw2 instead of Auto. It's supposed to be two T's and, two T's and two O's total, not three O's total. I'm so stupid. But, yeah, my bad. Uh, who do I want in the front? I think I'm gonna put Blubba in the front. I want him at 13, so... But without further ado, let's head into the gym! Alright, uh, I'm definitely gonna be taking on both of the trainers, I think. I'm pretty sure there's only two. Usually, every first gym only has two trainers, so yeah. You avoided the long way around? Let's see how you do with that. Yes, I'm not taking that cheap way. Screw that. I'm, I'm fighting fair. So, he's only got one. Youngster Jonathan. Yeah, he has a Geo dude. This is a rock and ground type gym. Uh, so that's why having Blubba and uh, Auto. Or Auto, rather. Meant, meant for it to be Auto, but I'm dumb. It's, gonna, it's not going to be very hard. Watch. Water Gun. Yeah. Not hard at all. Blubba's not level 13. Awesome. Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to put Auto on the front now. Auto does have Water Gun, and he also learned Pursuit, which I, um, repla I replaced Pursuit. I mean, I replaced Water Sport with Pursuit. He had Water Sport. I'm pretty sure that lowers the power of Fire-type moves. But yeah, let's just battle this youngster right here. Only those who want to win win can challenge a Pokemon gym. I got you. He's probably only got one Pokemon, too. Let's see. Nope, he's got two. Youngster Darius. He probably just has two Geodudes, yeah. Still level 10, right? Oh, level 8. It's even easier. Okay, let's just go for the Water Gun see Pursuit right there. Uh, let's go for the water gun. Should kill it. Yep. I uh, didn't see who he's gonna send out. Oh, an onyx. Okay. Still should kill it. Yep. And we level up. Not bad. Um. Just gonna heal, even though I didn't lose any health. I mean, just just to refresh my PP. You know, I'm just gonna heal real quick. But um, question of the day for this video is: Who is your favorite gym leader of the Sinnoh region? I already know who all the gym leaders are, so I'm not, like, spoiling anything for myself. This isn't blind, but who's your favorite gym leader of the Sinnoh region? Mine is probably... I'd, I'd say Byron is my favorite. Either, yeah, probably Byron. And my second favorite is probably a Crash or Wake, but... Let's just go back in. Take on Mr. Roark. Also, if you guys didn't know this, uh, Roark is actually Byron's son, who's the sixth gym leader. Um, who do I have in the front? Think... I'll, I'll keep Aw2 in the front for now, and see how he does. I'll, I'll see how he does, but... Okay. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Roark, yeah, we already we already met. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. Yeah, Rock, Ground, same thing. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. So here we have our first Gym Leader, Mr. Roark. Uh, Rourk. How the fuck you pronounce it? He has a, to a team of three, which is usually kind of rare for first gym leaders. Usually they only have two, but he's got a team of three. He's starting off with a Geodude level 12. Auto should be able to one-shot this thing. Let's find out. I'm not gonna speed. I'm not gonna speed up gym leader battles because they're like main battles. But let's see. I mean, it's quad weak to water and it's stab. So, yep, kills it. Awesome. Uh, he's probably gonna sound on Onyx next. Uh, 187. Is that going to level him up? Almost, almost. 
Yeah, I was going for the Onyx. If it tanks the water gun, it depends what it's going to use on me, because... This thing's also level 12, so I don't know. These things are, I'm pretty sure they're slightly bulkier than Geodudes. But let's see if, let's see if the water gun kills it. Wow! Auto, not bad. I know, like I keep, like I keep saying, I'm just gonna call him. I'm just gonna call him Auto for the rest of the LP, because that that's what he, it was intended to be. I just, I'm dumb and I spelled it wrong. Okay. So now he's going for his last Pokemon, which is also his highest level, which is Craniados. See, this thing is his highest level, so I think Blubbo would probably be the best choice to go against this thing, because it can tank and it has um, Water Gun as well. So, and it's higher level. So yeah. Come on, Blubba. I can't wait until Blubba learns Water Spout. It's not even going to be fair. If it's full HP Water Spout, it's over. But here we have Craniados. It's a little, uh, miniature T-Rex. Yeah, I was right. It was level 14. And it has Mold Breaker, which... I forget what Mold Breaker does. Uh... I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I, like... It's on the tip of my tongue, but, you know, I'll just I'll figure it out. And Craniados is actually faster than Blubba. Craniodos is actually a pretty decently fast water type, and its uh, fully evolved form Rampardos actually has the highest attack stat in all of Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. It either has the highest attack stat or the highest attack stat for a uh, non-Uber. I'm, pr I, I, I'm as far as I'm concerned. He's going for the potion. I kind of saw that coming. So this water gun should kill it, or at least bring it down to very low red health. Killed it. Awesome. So we defeated L Roark, didn't lose any Pokemon. We didn't even lose any health. T the Cranidos, it was the only thing that I was able to attack and use Leer, so that's pretty good. A lot of XP from that. Blub is close to 14, which is really nice. You know what I just realized? I don't think any of my team is going to evolve for a really long time, except for Buizel, if we if he lasts. It's unfortunate we never got to see Shink Shinx evolve, but at least Starly was our first evolution. So we have the Coal Badge now. We got the Coal Badge from Roark! Awesome. And now that we can- now we have the, um, Coal Badge, we now can use Rock Smash outside of battle. And we got the TM-76. I'm not sure what this is. I'm assuming it's Rock Tomb? Stealth Rock, okay. That's... I mean, I'm probably not gonna teach it to anybody. I mean, it's, like I said, like, Stealth Rock and stuff is only for, uh... Kind of... Strategic battles, like... Wi-Fi battling and stuff like that, that's mainly what it's for. I mean, I already have spikes on Quillfish anyway. He, he came with spikes. So. Well, I didn't get touched, so I don't think I need to heal. Um, now, let me check the town map real quick, because I forget which direction I'm supposed to go to. The, I know where the next, I know what the next city is called, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here to, like, get to that city. Let me check. Looks like I'm going north. Eterna City is where we're going next, so looks like we're heading up. If possible. Oh, I forgot to do this, actually. There's an item over here. I didn't want to get this. I saw it, but I didn't want to get it off-screen, so... I decided not to get it yet, but let's just grab it. Oh, it's a Pokeball. Alright. Not bad. It says we have to go north from here, but I think we need a bike, but we haven't gotten... We haven't, we haven't gotten a bike yet, so... I'm not exactly sure. Let me, let me, let me talk to this kid. Let me see. That substitute simply need a bike to get up, you know, a bicycle. There's a cycle shop in Eterna City. How the fuck? I'm not sure, then. Eterna City is north. Unless we just... Let me, let me double check the map again. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me... Oh, do we have to go back to Jubil- Okay. I think we have to go back to Jubilife, then head north. I think we actually have to go through the Ravaged Path this time. To- to get there, because we can't- We can't use- Oh, it's a rival. FUD! Whoops, Mark, you got the gym badge, huh? I turn to say this is the next place where- With a gym that gives away badges, right? Yeah. So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team- battle and toughen them up so I was it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife, next stop the Eternity City, yep. Bah! Who's got time to count? Yeah, we have to, yeah, he's right, we have to go back to Jubilife, that's the only way we can get there, for now. 
I don't know who I'm gonna give Rock Smash to, though. I'm not sure. I also- I, I almost want to find a- Did I not battle this person? Uh, okay. <laughs> I could've sworn I battled this person already, but I guess not. Last battle- I could've sworn- uh, Whatever. Um... Okay. I guess I'll just go for the quick attack. Okay, I guess I couldn't kill it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's spamming growl already. I forgot. And he's gonna go for the Bidoof. I think I'm gonna switch. I really need to train Cassie. You know what? I'll put Cassie out there right now. Let's see what level this Bidoof is. What you got? What you got? Oh, uh, we got Twister. Let's, uh... Let's go for the Twister. Let's see what that does. No, not too much. Let's keep trying. Oh, we flinched him. Not bad. Almost leveled up from the Bidoof. Alright. I'm gonna be switching with Cassie as much as I can. Um... We battle. Okay, we battle these guys, right? I'm. I almost forgot. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember this many trainers being here, man. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we actually are going through the ravage path this time, because. Oh, it's Professor Rowan and Dawn. Ah, oh, Mark. Impeccable timing as always. These mi these miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Mystery man. Oh, Professor Pokemon. Must you be so difficult? We are. We are approaching you s strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we will refrain from causing massive damage to your assistant. Mark! Let's battle together and teach these horrible- teach these guys a lesson. So, it looks like we have our first, um, double battle against Galac- Team Galactic right here. Gal team Galactic is the main team of, uh, 4th Gen. They, obviously, the poison types, like most Galact- like most, uh, main teams do. Except for, um, the ones that are X and Y, they're gonna, they're gonna be, like, main fire, because they're, um, what's it called? Team, Team Flare? Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just go for the Water Gun and the Wurmple, and see how that does. You know what, I'll speed this up. Okay, he, we gained on, we gained on it. <laughs> Freaking astonished, you suck! Okay, let's just go for the Water Gun and the Zubat, and Scratch, and there we go. Very easy. First double battle, and it was against Team Galactic. Really bad hair. <laughs> Awful. Freaking mushroom cut, freaking awful shade of blue. <laughs> because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. We shall leave. Bye-bye, bitch. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic? When Pokemon evolved, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to use that power for something. Anyway, Mark, well done. You battle quite capably. The sight of you, the sight of you trainers and Pokemon battle it together. I made the right decision in trusting you with the Pokedex. Mark, did you know the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to an evolution. That is true. I didn't know it was 90%, but I mean, yeah, the majority of Pokemon evolve. Oh my god, more. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Nicely done. I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilee TV. And we got a fashion case. I don't know what this shit is. I don't remember. Uh, take the fashion case, your final spectrum, chick accessories, backdrops, dressing Pokemon, appeal and grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fashion case. I've never used it. I've personally never used it in my playthroughs of this game before, but yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna heal up real quick. Poss. I think I might need to buy some repels to the Ravage Path, because I already caught George in there, so there'd be no point of running into wilds. So I could think I kind of want to, you know, set up some repels in there so I don't run into hella wilds and shit. Okay, let's see. Can we... Okay, we can buy our pills. We can buy eight. I think four should be good. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming the Ravage Path isn't that long, but... You know. Yeah. You know what? Wait, just in case there's a route right after Ravage Path, I think I'm gonna buy a few balls, too. Just in case. But, you know, why not? Alright, so now let's head to the Ravage Path been saying Ravage Path a lot. Ravage Path, Ravage Path. So many Ravaged Path. So many Ravaged Path. That grammar. So many, so many good grammar. <laughs> so many good grammar. So many. So many of so many. Okay. No wilds plugged in! Fuck. Okay. Da, da. Oh, Fira. Wow. This thing I've actually never ran into before. Um, I, I kind of want to kill it. Die, die, bitch. Get out of my faith. Okay. Okay. Uh, who do I want? 
I think I'm gonna put Jamie up there, get Jamie to 15, then I'm gonna start turning Mrs. Puff a little bit more. Mrs. Puff's kinda falling behind. Alright, let's actually explore the Ravage Path for once. And I gotta start, I gotta set up a rappel real quick, so. Um, and then regular items, yeah, okay. Um, how many? 100 steps? Okay. I think the most is... I think max repels are 200, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we need to teach somebody Rock Smash? Crap. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to teach somebody Rock Smash. If nobody can learn it, then I'm in a real pickle here. But, yeah. Okay, um... Maybe I'll give it to Blubba. See what Blubba can... Let me see. Good thing a half... Good thing the majority of my team can learn it, though. Whew, thank God. You know what? I think I'm gonna get rid of Splash. Because Splash can't do anything. Splash is just one of those moves. You know what? It's not a big deal. If I get rid of Splash, you know I mean? Splash. Maybe sometime it'll do something, but yeah. Whatever. Okay, this is how Rock Smash looks. First hidden move. Yeah, Waylord. Not bad. Okay, I'm assuming this is how we get out. Right? Is that it? Okay, here we are on Route 204. Let me check the map really quick again. Want to check if we're going on the right route. Okay, Flamora Town is right there. So, I think we're going. I think we're on the right track. But we're on Route 204, and there's some grass. Okay, I guess we couldn't dodge that trainer. I was trying to... Thought being far away enough would have... Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Let's see what kind of level she has. Maybe we can get some level ups out of Cassie. Badoo. Level 7. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just wait until our next Pokemon. Whatevs. Um, Cherubi. Let me switch. See how Cassie does. See what Twister can do to this thing. Um... Okay, let's do the Twister. Okay, that didn't do a lot. Let's keep going for the Twister. Flint tracks? Yes. Okay, you know what? Ta Cassie's really tanking, so... God damn, it's... Wow. Alright. So we got level 5 from Cheruby. Not bad. Uh, we have 7 Pokeballs right here, and a new route, so... Okay, we're gonna, we got an Awakening. We got, just got an Antidote and an Awakening. So many moves, so many items that start with A. So many A's. Um, who's in the front? Let me put Mrs. Puff in, in case we run into wilds, we can kill him, get an extra level ups. But we have seven Pokeballs, so let's run into some wilds. Let's see what we can get. Anything. Oh, right, I was running a repel. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, here we go. I was like, oh yeah, a repel. I forgot. A perugly? No, okay. Okay. I mean, eh, these things are. They're meh. They're meh. I'll just go for the tackle. Um, I guess start chucking balls at it. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's per ugly look. Like, fuck. You know what? I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk the crit. There we go. Okay. It's at red health now. Good thing we didn't crit it like we did with wing attack on that slacking. That was last episode. That was unfortunate. God damn. Okay. Um. Really don't want her killing Mrs. Puff. Holy crap. It's like. Wow, okay. Can we, can we, can we, can we catch it? Nope. Okay, it broke out of every single wall we have. That's unfortunate. We wasted this route. Okay, you're dying. Oh well, maybe, maybe next time. Seven Pokeballs. I cannot believe it. And we can make the f Oh my god, okay. Say, listen, what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? They suck. I hate them with a passion. No, I actually kind of like Pokedex. Oh, now I- but I hate Cricketots, though. I hate Cricketots with Bide. Fucking assholes. Oh god, he's going for Bide. He is going for Bide. I'm- 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 I'm going Harden. Harden up. Whew! I- I tanked it. Wow, Mrs. Puff. Thank god. Jamie, get out there and wing attack this thing before it kills me. Whew! Cricketots with their bite. Jesus. Alright. We, we almost lost Mrs. Puff there. If it wasn't for the Harden, that would have been a guaranteed kill. Guaranteed. Alright. We, we really got lucky. 
Okay. Now we have another double battle here with these two little girls. Liv and Liz. Lelel. La 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 la. You are challenged by twins Liv and Liz. Potri two Potrices. Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the two the two Pokemon that are on the verge of death. Jesus. Okay. okay. Well, I guess I'll put George out there. They both use some quick attack. Didn't do anything. Um, I guess I'll go for the Water Gun and the Pachirisu on the left, and he can use Ember on the one on the right. See how it does. They're both using Quick Attack still. Keep doing the same shit. Come on. Holy crap, they're tanks. Wow, that thing is not dying. But, uh, Cassie and Blubble leveled up, and he wants to learn Whirlpool. Uh... Yeah, I might as well, you know, I'll just get rid of Growl. Why not? Growl, I mean, yeah. And George is level 11. Wow, a lot of level ups. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Fuck. <laughs> Let's just go with the Whirlpool, why not? Uh, then we'll just go for Scratch, okay. Wow, really spamming a quick attack. Badly. But Mrs. Puff, level 12. A lot of level ups in that fight. Not bad. Nah, yeah, but it's a shame that we couldn't, uh... What's it called? Catch that purr ugly. Seven Pokeballs, red health. I, I just cannot believe it. We, the problem is, I mean, we're, we keep getting Pokemon that are in their fully evolved state, and that's what's making them harder to catch. We got another Mart right here, though, so maybe we can, uh, redeem ourselves, get some more. <laughs> How much can we get? We can get eight. I'll get five. Five should, five should be good. I think, I think five will be good enough. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. Uh, what's to the right of here? Is this another route? Fuck! Is that a trainer? Help, help, trainer! Please, can you get my papa for me? Works in Valley Wind Works. No. Because that's the wrong way. I didn't think I was... That was my fault. <laughs> okay. Flamora Town's nice and... Nice and flowery and such. No. It's just, it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And we're almost... The Flamora Meadow. Ah, I love it. But we have more Team Galactic grunts. Again. Give us the honey, man! Yeah! Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the brat running off and get help. Oh, we have to battle Galactic again. Is it... Oh, but... oh do we have to battle them separate? That's gay. Okay. Wurmple. Ooh, I'm scared. Um, guess we'll... I think these things are part grass, so let's just go for the poison thing. Okay, they're not part grass. <laughs> uh, let's just keep spamming poison saying, Okay, you lowered my speed, big whoop. Um, I think I'll just go into Cassie real quick. Really want Cassie to get to, like, level 10 by now. Okay, I'm pretty sure Silcoon can only learn Harden. So I think I'm gonna spam Leer. Or not, it can learn Tackle also. <laughs> okay. That was... Okay, oh, now it's going for the Harden, you bitch! But I'm pretty sure Twister is a physical, I mean, a special attacking move anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is so lame. They're going to de dock in my pay. I'm up next, huh? Battling you right after my cohort weakened you gives me the edge. Yeah, no. I barely lost any HP at all, sir. So, he's got a Zubat level 11. That's decently high. So, it's just spam tackle on it. Astonish sucks. Boom. Alright. This brat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Together... Tougher, oh, t I thought he said together. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. <laughs> okay, so he's going to the Valley Wind Works now. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. Must be for the Valley Wind Works. Oh, it's no use to me. Either. Those will have it. So we got the works key for the Valley Wind Works. Okay. Thank you. You surely saved me. They were trying to rob my sweet honey. What they saying didn't make a lot of sense either. And I think he gives us the honey. Yeah, we got the honey. I'm not sure what this does, but... If you saw the honey on a sweet-smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. Okay. What do we do here? Oh, is this one of the trees? Can we can we put honey on it? There's a sweet scent in the air. Slap the bark with honey? Yup. Anything. Anything at all. Nothing? Okay. What's what's in this house? Put it on a tree, check back later, see rustling. Quite a rare Pokemon. Hmm. 
Is the tree moving? The bark is slathered with honey. Okay, I guess we have to go to the Valley Windworks. Um, one more time checking the map. I'm checking the map a lot. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Um, yeah, it looks like we have to go to... It looks like we have to go to the Valley Windworks as far as I'm concerned. But I think we're going to be doing that. I think we're going to be stopping now and doing that next time. So, yeah, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Pearl Randomizer Nuzlocke, we're going to be heading to the Valley Windworks and hopefully making it to Eterna City and checking out the gym. So I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.